Welcome to Share Truth Apply Scripture. I'm Jordan Shambly, joined by Wesley Wildman and Cedra Sarton. Today we're going to talk about spiritual clutter. But before we do, we want Cedra to tell us what kind of button she has on over there. What kind? Of, oh, did I forget to take my badge off again? Yeah, you got to take your badge off. <laughs> well, now everybody knows. We'll yeah. just leave that in there. I, ju- um, I just see the Rock Johnson and a couple hat. psychedelic oh, yeah, kittens. My, my, <laughs> yeah, my Dwayne Johnson one. And this one says, you tried, and it's a ribbon. For anybody <laughs> who's listening on the radio, that's yeah. what I'm wearing. Go to our YouTube channel. And you can check it we out. D- you can we did see. try. <laughs> you can see. I, I knew I was going to forget to do something, but... It's fine. It's too late now. I don't though. think they even care. No. 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 It no. Is the fun part is when you have <laughs> these things in the episode, mm-hmm. and you realize that we're recording, and it's not live, and it's like, they could have edited that out, yeah. but we're not going to. No, no, we're not going to. So that's that's not there. how we do things. Oh. No. We, do, we, we do it a little. we are going to talk about... Speaking of distractions, <laughs> sorry, Clut- spiritual distractions, spiritual clutter, things that look okay. A lot of there's a lot of. I mean, I'm I'm one, I'm one of these people, serious Christians, yes, <laughs> who um we want to do every all the good things. Mm-hmm. We want to read all the good books, want to be involved. Now, okay, this is where I, I I'm not this way because I'm I'm kind of. A, am an introvert, introvert and don't like to be working yes. around sure. a ton of people. Yeah. But there's a lot of people who like to be involved in every church activity, want to be there on the front lines helping, sure. and boom, boom, boom. And they're just, their whole, their time is dedicated 100% mm. to serving, mm-hmm. which, I mean, I admire that in many yeah. ways. But there is a degree where we can have too many sp- good spiritual things in our lives to the point where it's just not helpful anymore. Mm -hmm. Um, And some of these things could be like you attend too many small group uh, book studies, you know, and, and I mean, not like just too, too much time at a VBS, you know, like, and and you're neglecting some important essential things. Um, So how can we tell, like what, what, what would be like the, the litmus test for whether or not something is helpful to us spiritually or if it's just excess that might be good for later on in life but not right now. Well, one one of the questions you can ask yourself is or, or something that may just become evident over time is that are you are the things that you're doing um are you willing to basically take uh you know criticism or are mm. you willing to take advice or help in an area or are you so focused mm-hmm. on completing the task yeah. that it, that you'll almost sacrifice or do anything in order to complete it? You yeah. know what I mean? Like, yeah. you, you know what I mean? And so, are you willing to? I can't think of the actual term, but are you willing to um, mi- or misplace things or set things aside that would be important otherwise? But because you're so focused on mm-hmm. spending so many times yeah. in a Bible study mm-hmm. that you're not going to take. Your son to a baseball game. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. Kind of, kind of off, kind of like mm-hmm. offset itself there. Yeah. It's like if, you know, you're, you're so focused, you've got things so stacked up in your life that you just need to get, I got to get it done, got to get it mm-hmm. done, got to get it done. And then the quality of what you're doing, no, like, that's it, a good point. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Starts to go down. Like, okay, well, I'm, it, I'm working at a soup kitchen mm-hmm. and stuff and I'm just doling out the food, but do I stop? And spend a little time talking to the people coming through, mm-hmm. or you know, they may be, you know, they're being fed physically, mm-hmm. but it is what I'm doing, you know, do I just look like a bored person, you know, yeah. scooping out soup, or do I look like I'm happy to serve? Do right. I do I show my servant's heart to these people? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, and because believe it or not, it's sometimes when you're working with people, they're looking for more than just, you know, they're they're looking for that from you. Mm-hmm. And, and stuff like, yeah, I may need you to come help set up props for a play at church mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and stuff like that. But I also want you to shine the light of Christ when you're doing it. Mm-hmm. Or are you just throwing it up there and no, yeah. <laughs> moving on to the next thing? <laughs> yeah. So, like, yeah, I like you, you brought up quality. Like, the more stuff, the, the more quantity, mm-hmm. the less quality. Those yeah. two things don't go hand in hand. And you brought up, like, when it becomes about 
you. Yes, like it's, it's it, that's it. The thing you do is no longer willing to sacrifice God. anything yeah. to complete the task. Yeah, yeah. Anything meaning yeah. good things, right? And yeah. it might be for your reputation or or whatever. Um, yeah, there, there's so there's so many little pitfalls that can come from these really good things. Mm-hmm. These really good things that that like p- people looking on the outside could could um, say, "Wow, you're such an admirable." Christian, you know, sure. doing all these things. One, one, another one um, is when you find yourself sitting back from work and like, okay, God, I did all this stuff. Where's my reward? Oh yeah. Like, I, or or grumbling when something bad happens to you and you think, well, I just I did all these things for yes. you and this b- bad thing happened. Well, maybe that <laughs> became too big of a thing in your life. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and and so. Um, uh, one of the questions I think to evaluate, so say for instance, there's an opportunity coming up at your church and maybe, maybe your plate is full, maybe not, maybe there's room for it. Um, but I think it's a good idea to intentionally evaluate whether or not you should do it, Mm -hmm. whether or not God would have you do it. And one of the questions would be, is Jesus the Lord of it? If I was going to do this, is he the authority over this. Right, right, right. Yeah. And so um, what what other... Uh, I think on the flip side of that, mm-hmm. if you're one of the people who tends to sit in the pew and just go home after church, you might want to think about jumping in and helping more. Uh, because, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because then you don't have the same three people mm-hmm. stretching themselves thin and letting quality suffer. Right. Mm-hmm. Because cause a lot of times people do do it because they see a lack of... Mm-hmm. Kind of yeah. yeah. There's there there's not enough people mm-hmm. joining in and helping, so yeah. they stretch themselves. They thin. stretch themselves thin. So yeah. just a little side note. No, that's good. You know, for the ones who do who don't participate, mm-hmm. maybe share the load a little bit. Yeah. Help help out <laughs> help, help out a little <laughs> help bit. Help out a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Uh, anyways, but, uh, you were saying yeah. something. Well, no, just find creative ways to get other people involved. Mm, you yeah. know, you because go. that's important. Mm-hmm. And um, you know, it's easy for us as Christians, especially early on in our in our growth to find ourselves doing so much for God that we don't, you know, necessarily spend time with God or even ask him mm-hmm. if that's mm-hmm. something, you know, he wants us to do or or you know, obviously there's certain things you don't have to ask if he wants you to do it if he's already told mm-hmm. you to do it. But I mean more specifically mm-hmm. like a long term career decision or things like that. Mm-hmm. You know, they may appear to be good on the outside, but we mm-hmm. don't even you know, begin to take the time to ask God if this is something He wants us to do. Mm-hmm. So, you know, mm-hmm. the idea of spending too much, or the idea of doing so much for Him and not spending time mm-hmm. with Him, that's kind of the 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 easy way to slip up because you're saying, well, look, I'm, mm-hmm. I'm you know, I'm constantly, <laughs> every yeah. night I've got something for God or, you know, to do right. that's a spiritual thing to do, but... And those things can become and end up becoming a distraction. Yeah, yeah. I, I keep uh, and if, if anybody's watching the YouTube channel, so you can play with my phone. I'm actually looking up some scripture. Uh, no, the uh, Angry Birds. No, nope. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm looking at Luke 10 um, here, talking about Martha and Mary. Yeah. Uh, if you go to verse 38, and it says, "As Jesus mm. and his disciples were on their way, he came to a village where a woman named Martha opened her home to him." She had a sister named Mary who sat at the Lord's feet listening to what he said. But Martha was distracted by all the preparations that had to be made. She Mm. came to him and asked, Lord, don't you care that my sister has left me to do the work by myself? Tell her to help me. And in verse 41, he said, Martha, Martha, the Lord answered, you are worried and upset about many things, but few things are needed or Mm. or indeed only one. Mary has chosen that what is better. It will not be taken away from her. Yeah. Man, that goes, I mean, the, the theme of these past several episodes have been priority, mm-hmm. and priority singular, because there's only one, and that, that hits the nail on the head. The priority is, how is your soul with Christ? Mm-hmm. Um, and, and, and it might sound selfish in a little way, it's not, um, but for, for just a day, forget everyone else. Yeah. And th- and ask yourself that question: How am I? Like, mm-hmm. is is everything okay between my soul and God? Am I am I eager to do this fun, good thing at church while ignoring something that God's told me to do that I don't want mm-hmm. to do? Right. Um, yeah, yeah. Or maybe there's like a sin in my life. There's a sinful pattern in my life that I need to repent of before I do anything else. Mm-hmm. Before I touch anything else um, with ministry. Um, but that that I think hits at the the heart of the matter. Also, like. 
And a, a question that I think a lot of people don't ask is, is this thing that I'm going to do actually helping anyone? Mm-hmm. Is it helping me? Is it helping anyone else? Because um, I, I think it's like the opposite problem when there's not enough people doing something. Maybe when there's too many people doing something, they because they have this obliga- this feeling of obligation, I'm a Christian, I should mm-hmm. be doing Christian stuff. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah. so they start making up things. Don't do it just to do yeah. it. Like we, I, I'm, Let I'm, there be yeah, purpose behind yeah. it. Yeah, like like somebody somebody's really good at playing video games and they love playing video games. Well, I'm just going to start a video game ministry. Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. well, okay, do you need to? Like, yeah, is, yeah. is that going to help someone? Is that going to help? I mean, it might, but it might not. You need to pray about that. I kind of think, <laughs> I'm going to go back to discussing the church that I go to. And yeah. I think I've told you about it. It's a cowboy church. Yes, it is. This is a I real I still don't thing. know how I feel about it. No, I'm just <laughs> No, no. But let me, say, let, me, let me say, a lot of thought and prayer yeah. went into this before we started it. And like, do, would you start it to start it? Mm-hmm. But there is a need there. We mm-hmm. saw it. We started. So that's one thing. Mm-hmm. Um, we noticed there's a lot of people in our church yeah. that haven't spent a lot of time in church before. Mm-hmm. We do have several people from that have grown up, always been in church. But we have a lot that simply started coming to mm. Uh, rodeo events because that's what they do yeah. for our church. And then they're like, a church is putting this on? And they start coming. There's so many people that were not mm. in church of any kind and mm. refused to set foot. And then, So if you see a need, don't be afraid to step up and do something about it. Mm-hmm. But then again, don't do it just, don't do something just to do it for, you know, yeah. just because. Yeah. Hey, we want to uh, be careful not to make you know, busy ourselves so much that we're ultimately unproductive, mm. you know, because that's easy yeah. to do. Well, especially if you're, I mean, if you're a real passionate, you know, Bible-believing Christian and you're you're active in your faith as we all should be, we're constantly looking or wanting to do things that would benefit others and glorify God. And in doing so is where we can almost, you know, we have to, we have to what we're talking about here is being careful not to, uh, do so much stuff mm-hmm. that we're um, ultimately unproductive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and I think all things. Or we neglect things yeah. that we should be doing. You need, and, you really need balance. Yeah. And and like we talked about last week, we talked a lot about relationships. Mm-hmm. I think under your relationship with Christ and with God should come your relationship with your family, especially you two guys are married. Mm-hmm. With you both have children, mm-hmm. and. Uh, if your family, if your if your priority is to them, you know you're supposed to take care of them. You're supposed to be the spiritual leader right. of your home. If you're not, because you're spending so much time doing other things, and they may be good things, you may be leading a million Bible studies. Mm. But if your own family is suffering, mm. there's a problem there. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you have to assess what the Lord has given you, obviously. Yes. <laughs> and then pray about it. And I. Stay tuned for the next segment. We're going to talk about moving past um, this 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 uh, this time of life where you might have a lot on your plate spiritually. Moving past that, finding clarity and finding purpose um, in God, and we hope to see you there.